Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cookie Run of a Break, where finally we're going to go ahead and tackle the new chapter of the Yakwa Village Haunting Tales. Because since Gim Cookie recently released, that means a new entire chapter of that whole storyline recently came out, which is going to be pretty fun. It might be pretty spooky. Also, I got to go. I got to go ahead and collect my daily because I guess I forgot to collect that yesterday. Uh, even though I thought I would. Oh no, wait! It's because the other daily gifts were still active, so that doesn't matter. And also, check this out: shooting star. Let's get the stars. I think if Space Donut spins, I think that's where you get a lot. Yeah, it's three. Pretty good. 300 crystals, yes. We're actually making good progress on that. Anyway, as you can see, now if I go ahead and crack open the Yakwa Village Haunting Tales, check this out. I sense a strange energy from over there. Let's go check it out. Yeah, now if you see Chapter 1 Midnight Sun, you can't do it anymore. All you can do is rewatch the story, and I don't even know what it says if you don't even decide to do it at all. Maybe just like... It just shows up there, doesn't even give you the rewatch story button, I don't know. But now we have Crimson Knight. Okay, here we go. And we're at this temple place. Are you sure Okchan Kiki told us to go this way? It's so creepy here. Yes, so dark and eerie. Still, wouldn't this mountain be safe? After all, Gim Kiki's shrine is located here. And look, there's talismans. And torn, but still talismans. Uh, I, I just want to get out of here. Uh, we're going near the temple. Oh, look over there. I, I think I saw a shadow behind that statue. Ah, uh, don't be silly. I didn't see a thing. A shadow appeared and disappeared. Must have been a ghost. Ghost or cookie, what does it matter? We need to go back to, to the village. That shadow by the statue, doesn't it seem bigger than before? It grew so much bigger than the statue. <sighs> I don't know, it's probably just the bamboo shadow. We better stay alert. This is all too spooky. Let's all hold hands. This can only go so well. Oh no, it's pitch black now. I can't see anything. Joy Yaku Villager Cookie, is, is it your hand that I'm holding? Come on, say something. Anything. I'm so, I'm so scared. I want to see our names in order and check if everyone is here. It's me, Salty Yaku Villager Cookie. Sweet Yaku Villager Cookie. Joy Yaku Villager Cookie. And it's me, Savory Yaku Villager Cookie. Huh? Joy Yaku Villager Cookie is between me and Sweet Yaku Villager Cookie? And who's holding salty Yakwa Villager Cookie's hands? Ah, it's the Gloom Feeder! The Gloom Feeder? Whoa, 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 we have the Gloom Feeder, the Inferno Whisperer, and the Doe Stomper. In which the Gloom Feeder looks like average, like, you know, cloaked ghost. Inferno Whisperer looks like some sort of a, a was it a jackal? Some sort of a hyena looking thing. And the Doe Stomper looks like a giant titan. Mmm, this can only go so well. Okay, there's a gloom feeder out of another cutscene. It might, because it might be opening and then there might be one we enter the cutscene. Or just the level. I don't know. Okay, there isn't. But now, uh... Ooh, I like that song. But yeah, okay, so this should work similarly to before. Basically how this works, if you don't know, is we have to try and fight this enemy as if it was a boss. And we have to select a certain cookie to help us fight. Now we can select Gim Cookie because doing that would help us get more Goblin Flame Jellies. Which would definitely help us getting more points. But unfortunately it is level 5. But if we tap on Gim Cookie, we can see our whole selection. And there's a lot of other cookies we can uh, rather run with instead. Like Hydrangea, Black Garlic, Potato, Truffle. Personally, I think I'm going to go with uh, Black Garlic, because if last time one of our best cookies to run with was White Ghost, I think Black Garlic might be the clutch here. But let's give it a try. The pet may not be at max level, which, you know what, we'll, we'll slide you over some crystals. Why not? At least at one level, because why not? Oh, look at that. That was totally intentional, too. All right, and for treasures, uh, the camera would also have a good effect on you, so may as well equip that. Pretty good. And yeah, I think we should be all set. The only other things I can really talk about is that there's exorcism rewards, which should be just similar to the last portion of the event. There's, of course, normal, hard, and crazy mode. I'll see if I can get the entirety of crazy mode done, which, if you're wondering, I have another hard, midi uh, a hard mode video for uh, the last portion of it, and also a crazy mode video, which they're definitely going to be outdated videos, but I'm still going to upload them because if I didn't, that would be wasted content. So I think it'd still be fine to just see how chaotic it gets. But also there's some rewards which we can't even see. We have to banish monsters in crazy difficulty, so that's great. And there's also a whole leaderboard. Great, apparently habanero cookies are the very best. Yeah, gim, gim, habanero. <laughs> great, fantastic. I don't know how this is going to go, especially since this is going to be a new boss. So, you know, new map, new obstacles, new mechanics. So, we'll just have to try our hardest and defeat this plumbing ghost. And defeat the rest of them. And cure this village once and for all of all of its spooky haunted tales. <laughs> so, this might take a fair amount of cookies to run with. But luckily, Black Garlic should do a solid amount of uh, damage, and by that I mean get a, a solid amount of points. 
And I'm also running with black garlic because I have that sweet costume too. Let's try and capture as many ghosts as we can as if we were an exorcist, but we're just doing this for the content, which is actually one of the reasons why uh, black garlic is one of my favorite cookies because you know, the content cookie. I was, fun fact, when black garlic came out, I was gonna have this whole, oh, I almost got hit right there. That would've been bad. I was gonna have this whole joke where uh, we had to try and beat a uh, black garlic cookie in the subscriber race because you may not have known this, but when black garlic cookie came out, she actually uh, had her own YouTube channel. <laughs> And uh, basically all that channel, the main purpose of that channel was just to post uh, cutscenes for the main story. But I think it's like Real Garlic Ghosts 22 or something like that. It's something about similar. But, oh, and I also realized this level was dark too. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, so now you're summoning spirits. Kind of weird. Let me get that bomb. Get that, good. And double capture. Boop. I like to save my film because I like to save my money. Oh, and of course, oh, I got the triple. Ooh, baby a triple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, don't really want to get those yellow bear jellies, because they're kind of hard to get, so collect all those. Destruction, get the arrows. Ooh, a big jelly. Good. Collect, collect, and also a nice potion right there. Okay, so far for our first run, this is going good. We are, we're basically like a ranking and a half ahead, and we're still going to get some more rankings along the way. How could I get more of those yellow bear jellies? Like, I can only get maybe like two or four of them. How do you expect me to get all eight? That's like impossible. Uh, oh, maybe there's some sort of a cookie who has like a magnet effect. I mean, did you see that? There were some uh, yellow bear jellies I could have gotten there. Maybe there was some cookie who I could slide with. Maybe it was, maybe it would begin. Do they have the, does he have that effect? I don't know, honestly. It might take a little bit of experimenting, but I'm definitely curious as to find out. But already, we're at C rank. And we're getting close to B rank already. Oh, sheesh. Those are some scary ghouls. Oh, I got that ingredient bag too. Nice and cheeky ingredient bag for us. Could we at least get up to B rank by the end of Black Garlic's uh, run? Because if that's the case, that's actually really good. Because all we really, all, I think maybe we could like clutch it with like potato cookie or maybe any of the others, maybe truffle or hydrangea. Uh, I don't know. I'll take either or, but whatever. Let's just go ahead and get this cleared out. I got hit right there. That is so bogus right there. I should not have gotten hit right there. Ridiculousness. Literally, I was jumping at the jellies. You're trying to break the primary rules of the game, game. Like, why would I have to... Why would you hurt me jumping after jellies when that's literally what you want me to do? I'm about to run out of energy because of that. I'm pretty sure if I actually didn't get hit there, I would have been easy. I would have been fine. It would have been sparkling clean. I would have been... No, I'm just going to get these just because I'm cheeky. And just get those. And yeah, I'm done. Yeah, thank you, game, for getting me hit by that. I'm going to be salty about that for the rest of the run because I swear, if that ends up being the thing that makes me so that I don't reach S rank with the next cookie, I will be genuinely upset because, come on, I hate you. At least I got my free plumbing cookie potion. The singular cookie potion. I don't uh, want your upgrade. Oh yeah, we can actually run with a black garlic cookie again. I, di I didn't even notice that. All right, well, let's go ahead and boost your pet up by... Uh, let's feed you some... You know what? Max it out. Why the club not? There we go. All right, so hopefully this time, if we don't mess up... I'm sorry, I'm itching myself right here. Hopefully that didn't sound terrible. If we just pull ourselves to it, we could probably get B, A, and then S. We just have to make sure that we don't do any heavy screw-ups. I am begging the game here. I need to try my hardest. I need to try and I try as hard as possible, even do better than before, which I don't even know how I do better than before. Maybe I selected the wrong cookie because uh, I still don't have that special magnet effect. I'm wondering what cookie that would be for. Maybe I need a certain treasure too. I don't know. It definitely, it, it's definitely not the uh, treasure that's being promoted. And I almost didn't see that in the dark. I almost got terrified. <laughs> Uh, like, it definitely isn't the, uh, the s ghost slap treasure. The one that's mainly associated with black garlic. Which now is associated with both black garlic and I'm pretty sure also, uh, Gim Cookie as well. You know, the exorcist and the cookie content creator, both sharing the same treasure. One of these things just doesn't belong here, one of these things just ain't right. <laughs> anyway, why can't I just- You know what, black garlic, you have the ability to take pictures of these ghosts. They instantly go away, or they just fly away. Why can't I just take a picture of that plumbing? Oh my gosh, that ranking system blocked my eyes. Now you're starting to upset me, game, because of unintentional things that aren't within my power. I am being upset right now, and you're causing this to happen. You're shoving all this garlic up my nose, and I can't breathe it all in. Just give me the potion. We'll probably have more than enough to get to S, but it's just small little details like that that do genuinely make me upset. Like, of course, it doesn't make me, like, you know, anguished, but, like, it's one of those things where it's like, it's like a temporary rage. Yeah, and I'm not gonna let that. I'm not gonna let that fly. I'm not gonna let that slide. I'm not gonna let that go. So back to this, where it's back to all hunky dory fun stuff. And by fun stuff, I mean the possession stuff. Uh, hopefully the other villagers don't get possessed. Oh, 
Okay, that was it. I expected it to go for a little bit longer, but you know what? It's fine. To slap that ghost it only took, I guess, 700 million points just to take down that ghost. But as you can see, it took two runs to get rid of that ghost, and we should be all fine and dandy from there. Okay, next cutscene. Here we go. Something's not right. I know the Shadine gates were open, but too many ghosts appeared at one after the other in the village. Even the ghost... No, the gloom feeder. I thought it was the ghost feeder. How did it know the village cookies were going to go up the mountain? When I sealed them inside the shrine, they weren't exactly this meticulous. Now, it wouldn't make sense if there was a ghost controlling all this. The question is why? What does it want? What if it was the tree? Imagine that, that's a good plot twist. That reminds me. Okjung Cookie's vanity was also very suspicious. I should speak with the shrine tree about this. Hey, it's, it's been a while. <gasps> oh my, it's all destroyed! What happened? Who did this? It, it fell asleep to heal. It must be the work of a ghost released from the shrine. If I hadn't been too lazy to fix this, the shrine tree wouldn't have ended up like this. I'm sorry. I'll put up a talisman for wishing good health. Big. Red. Club. That's the dope pounder. What? A red club? What do you mean? It fell asleep again. I'm gonna catch the ghost that made you like this. Sealed. Never. Again. I sent a ghost! Oh, Chun Cookie? What are you doing at the shrine? I've heard about the gloom feeder and was worried about where the ghosts will appear. If there really are other ghosts, it'd be more dangerous for you to come here. What if one possesses you? The more dangerous the situation is, the more I should be brave at the magistrate's re representative. I found the exorcism tips that you were you knew from you. They're very those exorcism tips that you gave me were very helpful. Thankfully, the area near the shrine was safe. Would you be able to tell me how to seal the shrine? You have exorcised countless ghosts. However, I'm afraid the seal will be broken again, given the ghosts have destroyed the shrine. I thought you came here because you trust my exorcism skills. I apologize. I did not mean to offend you. Well, don't worry. I'm going to seal it tight, so it can never be opened again. I'm just a bit upset to see the shrine tree injured. The shrine tree? I am sorry to hear that. If, if it had been a bit more like an ordinary tree, such a thing would not have happened in the first place. What did you say? Nothing. Shall we return to the village now? You cocky little pleb. It's the Guardian Post plebs? Are you kidding me? Who goes there? Familiar faces, right? It's getting late and I'm tired, so please just let me go. Oh, it's you! The Exorcist Game Cookie! Please take good care of this village. Wait a minute. The, the scar on the guardian post forehead looks very similar to the scar on the shrine the, the shrine tree. Is there something wrong? Please, we must hurry. Scar, red club, ghost, cookie. Have I ever said how their seal was broken? I should take a closer look. Okay, there we go. And now we can move on to the next chapter with him saying, Great work. Let's go banish those monsters before they cause more trouble. Yes, so in the next episode, we're going to take on the next beast, which is called... Uh, the Inferno Whisperer. Look at... You know, kind of looks like a balloon animal in some way, but I'm pretty sure that it's supposed to like, be like... What is it? I think it's supposed to have a jelly body, honestly. But before we end, let's go ahead and go to the Gloom Feeder, because, yeah, sure, we already defeated it, but let's get our free loot for getting s rank. Look at that. Crystals, cookie potions, uh, pet potions, uh, some basic magic candy blessing tickets, and 50,000 coins. Pretty sweet. So with that being said, the next time that we do this, we're going to find out more about the story and see if we can find out who really is behind all of this. It's most likely Ghost Stomper, because giant red club or something, and I see some red, and I see a giant club. But with that being said, if you enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my Kicker Run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon and be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also, in the description, you'll see a link to all my social media down below, a link to my merchandise, a link to my Discord called the Hyphenies Hub, and a link to a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the Kicker Run YouTube set for absolutely free. But above all else, I will see you in, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the Hyphenies.